Hi everybody, Mike here. Thanks for watching. Today we're gonna to do a quick comparison of a couple of cameras and lens combinations on the SharkBite system, the HD0 system. One of the cameras we're going to compare is the Runcam Nano, but with the uh, higher quality glass lens from HD0. Also, we're gonna look at the new Runcam HD0 micro format camera, and we're also gonna use a higher quality lens on that. So we're going to end up comparing the two sensor size formats, the nano sensor size to the micro sensor size, and have good lenses on the cameras and see how those compare. You know, size does matter when it comes to sensor size of the camera. Generally, the larger the sensor, the better light gathering capability your camera has, and also uh, the higher quality image that is sent to the file. On the left is the micro format camera, which has a larger sensor. On the right is the nano format. It's a smaller body camera, but it also has a much smaller sensor. We're also gonna look at, on the micro camera, the differences between the stock lens that comes with the camera and some higher quality alternatives and why you might wanna seriously consider swapping out that stock lens and putting something better. So what we did here is we took the Runcam Nano and we swapped out its stock lens for the HD0 glass high quality lens. We also have the new HD0 Runcam micro camera. Some people, myself including, who received the new HD0 micro camera with the stock lens noticed that the image was not tacked sharp. And so we discovered looking at it that the stock lens that comes with the new micro has a very short lens barrel with uh, only so many threads. And what's lacking is the ability to fine tune the focus on that lens. So some of the cameras coming from the factory uh, are screwed in all the way, but they're not at the optimal focal point. So by putting on a different lens that has longer threads, that gives you the ability to fine tune the focus. There are several different lenses you can choose from. There's a whole bunch of them out there in the market. In this test, we're gonna be looking at the HD0 micro camera, but with the Runcam G25 GoPro style lens. It's uh, a very wide angle lens and it's made out of glass and it's pretty good quality. These, these flights uh, were not taken on the same day. I tried to reproduce the lighting as best as possible. Uh, the image on the left is the nano format camera with the glass lens and the image on the right is the new micro camera with the uh, G25 GoPro style lens. On the nano camera, I did have a setting which artificially uh, increased the sharpness slightly in camera. On the micro camera, there are no settings to change the sharpness. This is straight out of the camera the way it is. And worth noting that in both pictures, I've done, I've done no, no tweaks in post-production. Both cameras were put on the bench and focused with a larger external HDMI monitor and focused uh, at a distance of about, uh, about 100 yards out. In some of this video, you may see some, some noise from the SharkBite system. Uh, I've since eliminated that. That's, uh, that's the Crossfire system interfering with the HD0 system, and I've cleaned that up since. So you have to sort of look around that when comparing these videos. What you really need to pay attention to here when looking and comparing these two is perhaps the detail in the horizon, the uh, trees or mountain ranges in the distance. What I do notice is the nano camera with the glass lens makes a really good image. It's quite acceptable. Uh, it appears to me though that the micro camera has just a little bit more detail. There seems to be less artifacts in the micro camera's image. In this example here, take a look at the mountain in the distance. The one on the left is the nano camera. The one on the right is the micro camera. And you can see the image on the left is, has more artifacts, especially at where the mountain meets the sky. Whereas the, the right one, the micro, is more, more true to life. There's just a little bit more detail being picked up by the micro camera sensor because it's a larger sensor than the nano. And that's basically what you're, you're getting here. Again, in this final image here, take a look at the, uh, the mountains on the horizon and uh, compare the nano sensor to the left, how it handles the difference between the sky and the, and the mountains versus the uh, micro camera on the right, how it handles the image. 
What is also really interesting, I'll just leave this last comment with the micro camera image, is that if you do use software in post-production to sharpen the image, you can get a really good looking image. Here is a before and an after of an image that I've just given just a little bit of sharpening uh, control to and did this in my, my post-production software. And it can be quite impressive. Basically the information needed to sharpen the images is there because of the larger micro uh, format sensor. You have to decide what, what's important to you. Is, is having a smaller, lighter camera more important? That could very well be for what you're doing. Or are you looking for uh, the best image possible? Then you're gonna have to go to a larger sensor and better glass. Well, I wanna thank you for watching. You decide what you need to fly with, which is just more information. Unfortunately, there are many different types of lenses out there and try different lenses. The good, the good thing is these lenses are relatively inexpensive. To swap out a lens on your camera is roughly around 10 to 15 dollars US and that's, that's not bad at all. Anyways, thanks for watching.